Hi everyone, it's Elisa from Photobox Designs. I'm here today to show you how to edit a template, a simple template with a clipping mask. This template is one of our newest Valentine's Day templates at photoboxdesigns.com. This template comes actually in two different sizes. This is the mobile size. So when this is finished and exported, you will be able to share this via text. It's a really cute, happy Valentine's Day, but it can also be used as a save the date template um, for anyone who is looking to send out a mobile save the date. This template comes in a PSD version to be used in Photoshop or Photopea, which is an online editor that can edit PSD files, as well as a PDF version that can be used in Canva. Quickly look, taking a look at how this template works. You can see here that it's a save the date. This is text. I will provide the font for you as a free download. So if you would like to use this font that is here and you want to change the words and change the names, you can do so by downloading, clicking on the link that I provided for you in the document as part of this purchase and installing the font before you open this up and you will have this font. Otherwise, if you don't like the font or you don't know how to install fonts, then you can just change the font to anything that you like. So this can be changed easily. You can also change, uh, you can click them all off. Anything that you have here, you can click on and click off very easily. Not a problem. Uh, the tape, there's two pieces of tape. You could choose to click them on and off. You can also move them around and resize them if you like. The word love and in the the in the air and the little hearts and the airplane, they're all clip art. You can change them, you can move them, you can resize them, but you cannot edit the font of love or in the air. But if you don't like it, you can always click right on it right here in the layers panel and shut it off and replace it with your own words. You see here that there is a clipping mask. This clipping mask is where you're going to clip your photo into it. So what I like to do is I like to look and find the word clipping mask right here in the layers panel. And then I'm going to go to file, place embedded, look for the picture. My picture is on my desktop. I'll use this picture, place it. Now you'll see that the picture came in and it's a little bit smaller than, uh, this clipping mask. The clipping mask is the gray sheet here. This is what you're going to be clipping this picture into. Okay. However, uh, we can change that. First of all, we have not clipped it in. So I'm just going to click right on it. It's right here. It says pixels. I'm just going to change it to uh, photos and I'm going to make it a different color. So that way, you know that this is the layer we're working with. This is right here. I'm going to click on it. I'm in my transformation. Um, I'm sorry. I'm in my move tool, which is on the left side. And I also have this thing that here that says show transformation controls that because that is clicked on when I click on the layer, I will be able to move it around and I'll also be able to resize it very easily. So see here, this is my transformation tool. Whoops. I'm so sorry. I was in the wrong layer. All right. That was wrong. Let's go back to this, this layer here. Okay. Uh, for some reason, my transformation tools are not working these days as well as they should be. If you cannot, you click on a layer and the transformation tools do not come on. Don't worry. You just press command T and now your transformation tools will be turned on. All right. Again, I'm having here. You could see it was just it was just floating into the background of the gray, but you can see that I have some dots on the top. I can take, I can grab the sides and I can drag it and make it larger. So I want to make this much, much larger so it fits into the parameters of the clipping mask. That's great. Now this picture actually already had the cutouts, which is a little weird, but I'm going to now on this on the layers panel on the right hand side, you see where it says photo. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to scroll down to where it says create clipping mask and I'm going to clip it and it is now clipped inside this gray panel here. I'm going to again um, move it around and of course you can also you 
could see my transformation tools are on now. They're working. I could grab it and I can make it larger if I want this to be bigger inside the clipping mask. And that's really uh, how you do it. And then when you're happy with everything, let's say this is Happy Valentine's Day and maybe at the bottom it said Sarah and Mark. We're going to go to File, Save a Copy, and you're going to go down to so right now, this would save a copy in a Photoshop la layer. Uh, I want to save it as a JPEG because I would want to share it on social media. So I'm going to press JPEG and I'm just going to press, I'm going to rename this one to my sample and I'm going to save it. And I'm going to, I like it to be as large as possible, just fine. And there you go. It's been saved. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, reach out to us at photoboxdesigns.com. You can email me at support at photoboxdesigns.com, or you can um, send me a message through the Etsy Messenger at our shop on Etsy. Thanks a lot.